welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you two new McFarlane figures and they are they are the Joker and Superman from you can probably tell from the sculpts but the Dark Knight Returns and it looks like they're gonna come with some horse pieces <clears throat> yes so they come with the build a figure um, there's the four that it comes with you have Joker Robin Batman and Superman and then they build the horse that Batman rides on. That's pretty cool. He just says, collect to build a horse. There you go. And there's the collector card that you will have the artwork um, to on the back. And turn around Superman as well. Oh, yep. Looks like they're going to come with the same collector card. Oh, yeah. Um, so there you have it. Oh, no, it looks like it's Superman in there. So that must be just oh, okay. a, showing off the horse. The back of it. Okay. Uh, so it looks like we're going to get some hind legs, maybe, to the horse. Yeah, and I think these head. have the, the legs, and then this has the head and the saddle. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get Joker and Superman out of the box and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and they're out of their boxes. Let's take a look at, uh, I guess, let's take a look at Joker first. Okay. So he's going to come with this saddle for the horse. I'll show you some of the details on that. So there it has the uh, the stirrups and lots of detailing on here and the stitching and everything. So that looks like a decent saddle <coughs> for a Batman to ride. Here is the horse's head. It's kind of funny just all by itself. Yeah. It's got the reins there. Um, looks like they do move some and very cool. Got his mane of flowing. And that will be the head for the Build-A-Figure. Here's his comic book collector card. And the back, the data profile, just in case you want to read up on that. Um, he does come with, uh, has a fisted hand on and a grippy hand. And then this one as well. <clears throat> and then he does have this um, weapon. It is very rubbery, even like the whole yeah. thing. So, uh, don't worry about stepping on that in the middle of the night. Yeah, there you go. All right, and then he also, of course, has the stand with the one peg and the DC, like the typical McFarlane figures. Let's take a look at his face. So there's his facial sculpt. Very different look. Yeah, yeah. These are all very. Uh, all four of the characters are very unique uh, visions of. Of these characters but um, they are very um, pretty much spot on to the Frank Miller uh, graphic novel that, that they came from. And then his hands are slick with no texture so are his pants and then he's got some fancy purple shoes with high heels. Um, that's definitely a different looking Joker to me. Very cool. You want to show off his articulation? Alright. <clears throat> so let's take a look. He has uh, neck articulation so it can go side to side. He can look, uh, he can look down uh, to a certain extent. He's got uh, shoulder articulation, and it will also rotate as well as extend. He has the double elbows and the uh, dual wrists, so they will rotate as well as twist. He has a point at the waist. He's got articulation at the hips. He has a single uh, knee joint, uh, and he has the dual uh, ankle, so it will rotate uh, as well as pivoting. And then he has the toe articulation, so very cool. All right, now I'll take a look at Superman. So here's the, um, the back horse legs that he comes with. Definitely looks like back legs to me. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so there's that one and that one. And, uh, it's kind of funny to see those in a package because you usually don't have a horse in there. Yeah. He's also got the stand like the other one. Here's his collector card with the pose and data file. In case you want to read up on that. Um... He has two closed fist hands on, and then these are the open palm hands that he comes with. Well, let's take a look at him. 
So this is a very different looking Superman to me. He's intense. It looks like he's right in the middle of a sentence. Yeah. But um, there he is. There's that interpretation of Superman. The big, fat um, <clears throat> letter Superman S on his chest. And this part, I was going to say, it looks like it's separate. But it is raised up, which is cool. And then here's the cape on the back. It's got some folds interlocking yeah, here. It's kind of cool. Of, uh... A lot going on and the over cape. to the side here. Yep, a lot going on with the folds in that cape. And then he's got the red boots. Um, there he is. Classic Superman suit, other than the S one I'm used to seeing. It's a little wider, but uh, yeah, the facial sculpt is a little different than what I'm used to. So take it away, Superman. All right. So let's take a look. So he will also have uh, neck articulation. Um, he can look up, so if he's flying, that he can still be looking where he's going. Um, he has the double butterfly sh shoulders, so it will allow him greater range of motion uh, at the shoulder, but it will also rotate as well as extending. He has a single um, uh, elbow joint, but it will rotate as well as extend, and then of course he has the uh, the dual wrist but um it's pretty in there with the um the sleeve of his shirt um he has two points at the waist he has the or excuse me two points at the torso he has the waist and then the mid torso so he'll be able to get a good range of motion in the torso uh this um this middle piece is actually soft you can see so it'll allow him greater range of motion um, at the hips. He has the uh, double knee as well as the ankle. And the ankle uh, will rotate as well as pivoting. And he also has toe articulation. So very cool Superman. All right, so there's one last look at... The Joker and Superman from The Dark Knight Returns. So very different looking... Um, uh, interpretations of characters we're used to seeing um can't wait to build that horse that will be awesome so thank you so much for watching as always come back and see us like subscribe and we will see you next time